Hi guys, how's it going? English Twist, I Tech Assist. Thanks for joining me today and for showing me your support. Uh, I got some excellent feedback from my last video. Yes, I know that uh, in my uh, last tutorial, the sound when I was using this, um, whatchamacallit, where it's, uh, I've got it here, Hypercam 2, the sound quality was absolutely dreadful. And I know it was so quiet, but hopefully this time I have actually corrected it. Um, we can start as we mean to go on, and I've got it up and going correctly. Okay, right, well, first things first, what you're going to do... Uh, sorry, look at this, I'm jumping into the video, and I haven't even told you what it's about. Well, obviously from the description, you'll know what it's about. What I'm going to do is show you how I actually got my iPhone to appear on the computer screen. I got a lot of positive feedback from that, and you guys were there saying, oh, how do I do that? And that looks really cool, how I can just, you know, you can use it for advantages like typing quickly on your iPhone, or, you know, fail safe and not having to put all your fingerprints all over it and risk dropping it, etc. You know, it's the convenience factor. You know, it's one of those things that's not necessarily needed. It's just quite a cool little convenience. All right, well, without further ado, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and download a piece of software called Tight VNC. Now this isn't the icon that you'll actually be using, this is one of my little custom ones, I have lots on here as you can see. Um, so you'll need Tight VNC, uh, I put a link in the description for you to uh, actually download it, and what that link will actually do is take you to this website, uh, I've opened up an explorer, let me just bring this down here like this, uh, it's going to take you to this link. All right, as you can see here, it will prompt you to uh, download it. Uh, the file. La -da -da. It'll do it automatically for you. You want to run it? Okay, run. I'm working off of Windows Vista, guys, so uh, yours should be relatively similar to this. Okay, allow that. We all like those allow yes, yes, yes boxes of Windows Vista. Okay, and then we verify this is the software that we want. Okay, we click next, make sure we verify where it's going. So you click next. This, guys, you just need the Type VNC server and the viewer. If you want these pages or documents, you can get them. Uh, I wouldn't be downloading them. Okay, uh, now you see that I've actually already got this installed on my computer, so I'm going to end it here. You're going to press yes, and it will install it, and you'll be good to go. You know, the normal routine for um, installing things. So once you've installed it, um, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. Alright, once you've installed it, you'll come to your start menu, uh, and it's going to be in your programs under Type VNC. Okay, and you'll come to Type VNC Viewer. Okay. So you'll press the Type VNC Viewer, and then this little box here will appear on your screen. Now, what you're going to need to put in this VNC server is your iPhone's IP address. Now, bear with me while I just jump off of the computer and I will show you how exactly you get your IP address from your phone. Alright. Okay guys, so how we get our IP address is you come to settings and then you will come to Wi-Fi. Okay, let that load and then you'll come to your Wi-Fi network display and you'll see your Wi-Fi network right there. What we're going to do is select the little blue arrow and it will bring you to this display right here. Now I'm actually covering over my IP address as we speak, uh, but you'll be able to see as on the right of this IP address right here uh, will be your IP address. Okay, and you'll want to write that down or memorize it. And uh, once you've done that, we'll hop back to the computer and you will input it into our Type VNC viewer box. All right, guys. So. Bear with me while we jump Okay, back. guys, now we've got our IP address from our phone, and we come back to our computer where we left off with the new type VNC connection display. Um, what you're going to put in this VNC server display box, like I said before, is that IP address that you picked up from your phone. Now, I'm not going to put in my actual IP address. I'm going to put in a bogus one. So, once you've typed in your IP address, you go ahead and come over here and press Connect. Okay, and you'll get a, a box that appears very similar to this. See, it says, uh, this is bogus because I put in a fake IP address. It will say, uh, connection initiated, and it will say, and it will blink to, um, 
uh, something to the effect of protocol, uh, you know, negotiating, something like that. Okay, and from there, there is a step that you need to take, which is on your iPhone. And if you bear with me while I just jump back on over to the iPhone view, there is a box that you need to uh, uh, implement a step, either you accept it or decline it, and that's what will execute the next steps. Okay, so bear with me while I jump over to my iPhone. Okay guys, and once we've connected uh, on our computer to the Type VNC viewer, this little box will appear on your iPhone. It is a remote access request. Okay, and if you can see that, it says accept ver uh, connection from, and below that will actually be your IP address. I'm blocking it off. Um, and from here, all you have to do is press accept. All right, and that's it. Now we'll just jump back to the computer, and you will see what's happened from here. Okay, guys, and this is what will appear once you press that accept button on your, compu on your iPhone. Bloop. Hello. There we go, look at that. There it is right there. And from here, this is where you can control your iPhone uh, easy as pie. You know, you just use your mouse, use your pad, what have you. Just click it, click on the icons, and you're, you're good to go. Depending on your Wi-Fi speed, uh, that's how much it will depend on the lag that you get. Uh, to go back, just right-click or if you want to use your iPhone, which kind of defeats the purpose, but you can just go and press the home key, but just press the right button and it will go back. Uh, you do have the ability to scroll, um, but you see it does lag a bit, so my suggestion would be just go ahead and press, scroll over your mouse over the buttons and just uh, left click and it will scroll through your pages. As you can see, it goes f fairly fluidly. Now I'm going through my pages here. Okay, and yeah, that's, that's good to go. I mean, you can open up applications. It doesn't support multi-touch, so unfortunately you won't be able to, like, uh, zoom in on here. Uh, yeah, if you were to zoom in on your phone, then yes, it would zoom in on the display, but uh, you can't. it doesn't support that. And it, and it also doesn't uh, support tilting the, s the iPhone, you know, and you tilt it to the left and right and, you know, switches. You know, th it will display on here as uh, side-on view. But it won't actually um, it won't actually go to a side on view if you know what I'm saying. I'm um, just opening up. See right here, you know you've got the. I'm in my YouTube right now. Just go ahead and scroll down here and press featured. Uh, yeah, just press this MythBusters viewer video, and there it goes. Okay, I'm just. A bit of a lag there, it went to a different one. Alright, there we go. And as you can see, look, it doesn't turn sideways, so you've got that view on the side, so here we don't have to wait for that to load up. Let's go ahead and bounce back to the main screen. Alright, guys, well, this has been a, uh, a tutorial on how to get the iPhone to display on your computer. Very straightforward, fairly easy. Um, Nothing too tricky. Oh, look at that. Arsenal are out. Went to my MP3 player. It's, been, it's pretty straightforward, easy to do. Download the software, run through the steps, and you'll be good to go. Alright, guys, well, this is uh, English Twist. Uh, I, I take assist. You know what time it is. It's time to rock out. Take care, guys.